Thank you. I'm not sure if you organized this uh, order knowingly because, you know, strategic ambiguity and strategic defamation. So it's uh, what I have. Since we have uh, only 10 minutes, I'll skip some of the uh, things that I have. It's actually, it's in the name of the book. It's called Strategic Defamation of Fethullah Gulen. So I'll try to look at three things, one, starting from the end. Who is Fethullah Gulen and how is he defamed and why I think it's strategic. So I skip this so you all know who Gulen is. This is the story, you know, why, why I wrote this book. Actually, it was uh, an article uh, that I wrote uh, and published, and, you know, it uh, became a, a small book that I expanded and put some other things. This is an article. You may know this. It's, it's actually, when you Google Glenn's name, uh, this is one of the articles that comes at the top. And it was written by Rachel Sharon Crespin and published by the Middle East Quarterly in the, in the winter of 2009. And the thing why I, you know, it was important for me, other than defaming Gulen, if you look at, you know, she says, he is, Gulen is a financial heavyweight controlling an un unregulated and APAC budget estimate at $25 billion. And if you look at the, you know, the source of that, it is actually an article that I wrote with Helen Roziba uh, and published, you know, funding Gulen inspires good work. So this, you know, I, I wrote an, you know, a correction to the journal saying that, you know, I'm not sure about the, the, this, you know, amount. Uh, she might be right or wrong. I can't tell anything about that. But she cannot refer to our, you know, work because we don't have anything to do with that. We don't give a, uh, uh, an amount of, you know, uh, the total financial uh, money that's going on. So then, you know, uh, then I looked at the article carefully. It was actually written professionally. You know, it was uh, written not only by her, but actually uh, it was uh, designed by what, what, what we called search engine optimization experts. You know, if you know this term, like, you know, like a business, you know, uh, if you go to Google, if let's say you are selling uh, pens or something, you know, and it's, you know, uh, Online sales are very, you know, popular right now. So if you Google, let's say you say pen, some things are coming up and others are, you know, below. So there are actually, Google has, which is the, you know, the most common search engine, of, you know, search engine, has uh, some, you know, uh, algorithms to, to design that. So there are people who are actually, you know, working for companies to, to get the website up. So when someone Googles something, then comes. So if you are at the top, it's more likely that they will buy from you. So Glenn's, this article was coming up. So then we looked at it. And then we looked at actually during those times, the Middle East, quarter, Middle East Forum, which is publishing with this quarterly, had an actually ad on Glenn's name. When people were Googling Glenn on Google during these times, as you can see, they had an ad which is which means paid. Anyone who clicks that link, Middle East is, is, forum is paying some amount to, the, to, to Google. So there was actually a huge intention, you know, that they had, so, or a purpose, and actually I asked some, you know, experts how much they were paying. They estimated they were paying $50,000 per month for that. Anyway, so that was the story that I, you know, started writing this book. Then I started collecting data about these defamations about Glenn. By the way, I have actually a chapter in the book that is responding back what she is saying in that article. And I used the uh, hanging definition of defamation. You know, defamation is not a cr critic of Glenn. I didn't include, you know, you can criticize Glenn. Nothing is wrong with that. But I only, you know, included articles, books that are actually defaming Gulen with this, this definition. It's false, impeaches the subject's character, published to the third part. This is very important. And actually it makes it it's strategic because they are addressing certain audience and damages the reputation of the subject and done intentionally. Let's go for, I have good pictures. So I have actually a 
two pictures of Gulen, very different pic pictures of Gulen. Gulen one, you have to keep in mind, you have to remember to understand some of the analysis. And in Gulen one, Gulen is an American puppet. He is a moderate Islam. Moderate Islam is Pope's secret cardinal. He is Pope's secret cardinal. He has Zionist connections, and he is actually destroying Islam. He is not a Muslim. You know, these are, you know, and this is Gulen one. As you can see, there has been books published on that. You may know Ergun Poyraz, you know, he wrote this America the Imam. The Imam in America, as you can see. You know, this is another, you know, it's, you can see this, it's made in USA. And over here, this is a book written by Hikmet Çetin Kaya. And on the, on the cover of the book, Gulen says, you know, as you can see, Fethullah Gulen, ABD in, in Turkish, USA, and AKP. And in, in, in this uh, saying, Gulen is saying, Oh, buddy, and this is George Bush, President Bush. Oh, buddy, I'm taking care of that business. Let's go the other one. You know, as you can see, the second, he is a moderate, a moderate Islam. You know, because we refer to Gulen movement as a moderate Muslim, a moderate Islam. It's actually, it's a game. Actually, Gulen is working for, for Vatican. And uh, as you can see, Gulen is pictured as Pope. And his meeting with uh, Pope is also used to justify this. And actually some go you know, further and claim that Gulen is actually a hidden cardinal. Another theme, he has you know, Zionist connections. And this guy is, you know, uh, there are more details, uh, actually published a lot of books you know, defaming not only Gulen, but also you know, Prime Minister and the President. As you can see, it's, it's called Moses' Children. He has a series of Children of Moses. So he, which he claims that all these have a Jewish connections. Actually, they are Jewish, what he, what he calls crypto-Jews, who are actually hiding their identities, but seeing as Muslim, but in fact they are Jews. Another one is actually, there's a book called, is Fethullah, is, is Fethullah Muslim? And in this book, he claims Gulen is not a Muslim. It actually, he's a, he's a Baha'i. He's trying to, you know, uh, uh, Establish a worldwide Baha'i universal state. Let's speed up. And England too. Oh, England too. You have a different, very different picture. Gulen is, you know, let's go to the pictures. He, he is Islam's Trojan horse. Actually, Gulen is it's a takia, moderate Islam that he is using. He's a takia. He's hiding its agenda, but actually, you know, conquering the West inside. Another theme it's used, you know, he is like American Khomeini. This is actually one of the, you know, the, I think the smartest uh, claim that I have seen in these, because he, uh, Michael Rubin actually pinned this. Uh, he actually uses, because American society knows what Khomeini was. So he's using uh, uh, someone that people know, so he's referring Gulen as Khomeini. As we all know, I mean, in, theologically, they are very far from each other, but this is used by some. Another one is, in Turkey, the movement, or the Gulen is actually trying to you know, overthrow the Turkish secular government and establish an Islamic state. In the original picture, actually, this is Kemal Ataturk. As you can see, this is Turkey, but it's, it's pictures as Gulen. Another one, he is actually trying to establish a universal khilaf, a caliphate, and establish the Ottoman Empire, as you can see. This is a theme that when I was studying, actually, this wasn't a very you know, common theme, but it became the biggest theme after that. Uh, using charter schools, uh, they are saying actually they are infiltrating into the United States society, into the United States. They are actually uh, converting students to Islam. Let's go, and this is very, but this has been there. The, this guy is Paul Willer, Williams, has written many uh, articles. He says, actually, Gulen is training Islamist militia in Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania. And, and the, the, the money for the, the movement is coming actually from the drug money uh, from Afghanistan. So you have to remember all these two pictures, Gulen 1 and Gulen 2. You know, uh, Gulen 1, he's American Zionist Vatican agent. Gulen 2, he's Islamist Khomeini New Ottoman Caliphate. You remember. So I collected 30, 436 cases, both in English and Turkish. These were, you know, included books, journals, newspapers, and magazine articles, web blog, and website postings. What I did, okay. 
Uh, let's skip that. Coding. Uh, okay, this is the analysis. When we look at Gulen 1, you know, in Turkish, it was 98%, which means in Turkish, Gulen is an American Zionist Vatican agent in 98% of the papers, cases. But on the other hand, in English, 90% says he's an Islamist, Khomeini, trying to establish the Ottoman Empire and Khilafah. This is another way, and this is also interesting. I also did a uh, timeline in analysis, and seeing that you know increases and decreases in the amount of you know the uh, defaming articles uh, on time. Yeah, I also ran a correlation analysis. It's a simple you know statistical analysis between the language and the def the Andigulan picture. It shows that very significantly uh, uh, there is a high correlation between the language and the picture of Gulen, which means, this is what I think it's a strategic, because they are uh, addressing different audiences. If they are addressing an American and Western society in English, they are claiming that uh, Gulen is, uh, uh, is an Islamist who is trying to establish an Islamic country in Turkey, but if they are addressing in Turkey, and you can see in their websites, sometimes they make mistakes, you know, there are some in America as well, uh, since most people don't read Turkish, but you can see in Turkish versions they are saying the opposite. Same group uh, that they are saying in, in Turkey, in Turkey, Gulen is actually uh, is an a CIA agent or working for America uh, at least, and the schools are in other countries are also supported by America. So uh, what else? This is the last one, I think. Let's see. What else I have in the book? It's a short bio of Gulen some more details about these defamations. Who are these authors? You know, I also have a chapter, who are these people? You know, different groups, both in Turkey and also in the, in the West, especially in the United States. And also uh, uh, my response to racial sharing Kressman article, because that's, that's the starting point. That was the, I think the mother article, main article, and also my data set. Thank you very much.